Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'll show you how to improve stability and overall FPS, frame rate and overall performance in CryoFear. So what we need to do here is go to the task manager. Then you'll head to details and then you start CryoFear. I have a shortcut here. And make sure you have Steam enabled. And when you do that, you see CryoFear.exe priority. Normally it's on normal, but now I show you how to constantly keep it at high, which is the best one. Real time is also kind of good, but it's. Nah, it's a hit or miss thing because it could actually ruin your PC and performance overall then. Go to high or experiment with real time if you want to. I'll show you how to do this. We need to go um, to the comments, Windows key and R opens this little thing here. Then type in reg edit and press OK. Then it will ask for your permission and then you just copy and paste it above here. Normally it's just computer here and then you just yeah, replace it with that. After that happened, you'll need to um, create a new key and just press on image file execution options. Just press here, new key. Then a new key will pop up, well, uh, I'll, I'll show. And then you'll name it cof.exe. Because I all already made one, um, here's this one. And when you have the folder called cryofear.exe, you'll also press again to new and another key. And after that happens, you'll name it perf options. That's pretty important that it's exactly uh, capital P added capital O. You have this here and you need to create a new thing here. Right click here, new, D word. And then you type in CPU priority class, which is above. CPU priority cr class, just like that. And when you made it, double tap it and type in the value of three then close it if you if you have the reg edit open in the background then wait um i'll open crap here it's opened and when i have it opened sometimes it gets down to normal so make sure your reg edit is closed and that should be it if it not should be working, just um, check every now and then. Pretty well known in the CryoFear community. Um, the first one is here. It is um, the config CFG. I will post this config.cfg in the CryoFear Discord server. But I'll also include it in the YouTube description, of course. And yeah. If you have any problems with the OBS settings, try going to the options tab here. The encoder settings is pretty good. I have it on middle graphics, it's working pretty fine. I tested it yesterday and I did sub 50, so why not trying it yourself? <laughs> yeah, having this exact same settings, you can customize these and you can customize the CQ level, but um, CQP 16 P4 try that out if it's not working try lowering here try lowering here and If not then just uh, try searching up something for your needs Also changing the audio separate a bit lower would also make a small difference and um, Yeah, also you can rescale your output I think your frame rate to the absolute minimum is 24 fps and the resolution will be 480p that's mandatory you can also do these tips like 
going down to this arrow, then disabling everything you don't need. I don't need power toys, I don't need transits and TV, I don't need hue lighting, and then also make sure your <laughs> wait. Okay, also make sure. <laughs> Why is it on guys down right? Make sure to always clean your desktop as well as in real life it also improves FPS. Widely taken by OBS right now because I'm recording. In Windows Explorer, Open, Firefox, Clipchamp, you can close all these tabs and just make no board, live split and cry of fear and OBS. These four programs. You can even close Discord, that's also using a ton amount of data. Yo, thanks for watching and see you guys at the Cryo Fear tournament. Goodbye. Have fun speedrunning.